Hi guys, this is Matteo, what's up? Have you ever been to Venice in Italy? It's a beautiful place and I was just there last week. It is also a giant maze of small narrow lanes, thousands of them, and of bridges, hundreds of them. We can see Venice as a graph, with every crossing between lanes and bridges as nodes, and nodes are connected by edges. Now we can consider also all shortest paths between each pair of nodes. Between a centrality ranks the nodes according to the number of shortest paths that go through them. What is the most central node in Venice? I didn't really have the time to find out because there were definitely many more interesting things to do. Instead, with my co-author Ellie, we developed an algorithm that computes an approximation of the between a centrality of all nodes in a graph with provable guarantees on the quality of the approximation. Our algorithm, called Abra, selects pair of nodes at random and computes the shortest paths between them, updating the estimation of the betweenness of nodes along the shortest path. Abra uses progressive random sampling and a stopping condition based on Rademacher averages to understand whether it has sampled enough pairs to guarantee that the approximation are of high quality. Rademacher averages are a powerful concept from statistical learning theory, and we show that they are very useful in practice. We also show upper bounds to the number of pairs of nodes that the algorithm will sample. The bound analysis uses pseudo-dimension. If you want to know more, you should come to our talk. Oh, by the way, the nodes with highest between centrality in Venice are probably these four. Why? Well, they are the only four bridges over the Canal Grande, the main channel in Venice, so all the shortest paths between the two sides of Venice have to go through them. I'm looking forward to see you in San Francisco and talk more about Venice between the Centrality and Abra.